Professor Pontiano Kalebu, the Director of Medical Research Council at the Uganda Virus Research Institute, says there is a reason why many researchers and scientists continue to confront complexities in the fight against the AIDS scourge. HIV is a, a virus that is unique. Mm -hmm. uh, it mutates quite a lot. Every time it multiplies uh, in the human, it goes on changing. Uh, but also when it infects cells, it changes. Uh, when people are on drugs, it changes. About two decades ago, HIV was grouped into two types, HIV-1 and HIV-2. Uh, type 2 is mostly in West Africa. For us here, we mostly have uh, uh, type 1, HIV type 1. The type found in West Africa is less pathogenic or disease-causing. According to WHO, about 22.5 million people in sub-Saharan Africa live with human immunodeficiency virus type 1. It is the most virulent and widespread worldwide and it's classified into four groups, M, O, N and P, with M divided further into at least 10 subtypes. Also we have what they call a saturating recombinant forms. Uh, as a result of these uh, subtypes or clades that have recombined in people who are infected with multiple uh, subtypes or clades, the viruses do uh, recombine. For instance, here in Uganda, uh, we have found that the most common subtypes are subtypes A and D. Subtype D is more common in the southwestern part, uh, Rakai, Masaka, uh, more than A. But when you come to the central region or in the north, subtype A is more common. Uh, and our work we have found that subtype D, actually, if you are infected with subtype D, uh, there is a tendency of progressing faster. Someone can be infected by two strains of the virus or more at once. This occurs when one is infected with one virus and is exposed to another virus from another person living with HIV and AIDS. This is called superinfection, which the Medical Research Council unraveled in Uganda, especially amongst high risk groups like fishermen and the lake shows. Professor Pontiano says a recombination of viruses is dangerous, and the Medical Research Council is still carrying out research on the ramifications of this strain. If you get so many viruses that are mixing and recombining, then it makes development of a vaccine yeah, even more complicated. Uh, but also it has been found that some of these, uh, uh, when you, got, you have two more than one strain, individuals progress faster to AIDS. This mirrors the new strain recently discovered in Cuba by a group of researchers from a Belgian university who published the findings in the e-biomedicine scientific journal. They found a group of individuals who were progressing very fast within three years to AIDS. Uh, and some of these progressed to AIDS very quickly. And even they had no opportunity to take the drugs three, within three years. And what they found, these individuals had uh, recombinant viruses, where we had a mix of three viruses, subtype A, subtype D, and subtype G. Some have been found in Africa, but in fewer populations. Many times viruses recombine to, re to their advantage so that they can survive. Mm -hmm. So these spread. The virus kills off cells quicker and increases the virus load. Most people do not even know their HIV status. Globally, UNAIDS estimates there to be 35 million people living with HIV. Unfortunately, 19 million of these do not know their HIV positive status. In Uganda, according to the Uganda AIDS Commission, about 500,000 Ugandans do not know that they carry this virus. And about 100,000 are in total denial of carrying HIV. Now this is causing a major challenge, especially in the face of finding new HIV strains. So I would like to appeal to Ugandans, first of all Ugandans irrespective of status, to for sure be careful, avoid irresponsible sexual behavior. Before you have sex with any other person, first know his or her status. And as much as possible, if you really must have sex, try to protect yourself against not only HIV but against other STDs by using a condom. Dr. Eliud Atumwaisje, the State Minister for Health in charge of general duties, says most people are ignorant of the recombinant viruses. As you become reckless and you go and have sex, uh, you might actually acquire a new strain of HIV that is more virulent, more pathogenic, and then eventually you progress 
from the HIV infection to AIDS. Or you get a strain that is resistant to the drugs that you are on. And increasingly, you might need to move from first line, second line, and third line treatment. And then, of course, sometimes death. When a girl is free from the period of getting pregnancy, she can have a brain sex with somebody. You need to use a condom because if you don't use a condom, another one has a, another type and also you, you have another type. And if you mix it together, you die very fast. Full-blown AIDS can be reversed if discovered early and a patient adheres to their drugs. But as long as patients don't report for medical care, AIDS will kill them. For the 100,000 Ugandans who are HIV positive and live in denial, the psychological trauma, coupled with a weakening immune system, could ravage them much faster, especially if they happen to have recombinant strains of HIV. Florence Salimba, NTV, 